Prediction. I forgot to say that in the last video. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to get a new or a professionally done intro video with the logo. I could probably draw the logo myself, but I don't know how to put it on the fucking internet. I don't know how to do all that digitizing and matrixy stuff. I don't know anything about that. But I'll learn. I'm learning. Every video I'll learn something. If you're going to undertake any endeavor, you have to make sure that you learn from it so you can get better. That's that's just common sense. It's just smart to do things that way. Let's get on to this book. I only got this one and two more to do. And I'm done. I'm done with the free comic book day shit. This is from Dark Horse Comics, Minecraft, and The Incredibles. Um, this is garbage. The Minecraft is garbage. I don't play games. I don't like games. We've discussed this in a past video. Hope Larson. I know the name. Don't know the work. Meredith Grain on Minecraft. Um... Wow, look at this art. This Tumblr bullshit. Fucking Bean Mouth. Look at Bean Mouth. This. Fuck you, Brian O'Malley. This is all your goddamn fault. Scott Pilgrim versus the World was a fantastic series. Fantastic. Great movie. One of my top five favorite comic book films ever made. But it's your fault this shit happens. That looks like something directly pulled from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This You've inspired a billion imitators. And none of them are as good as you. Which is why they are imitators, I suppose. But every, you see this all over the place. Every animated series is starting to look like this. And this, is, this isn't news. I'm not saying anything groundbreaking or even really interesting, I suppose. But Jesus fucking Christ. People, you have to stop making artwork like this. Because you do not stand out when you make artwork that looks like this. Because 50 other people just in your circle of friends think this is how you draw and that's how they draw and they have 50 friends that do the same thing and those 50 friends each have 50 friends that do the same thing and that's why everything looks the fucking same look at this stop doing this this is bullshit what is this cut it out learn to draw look at Look at those two in the background. Look at those two in the background. They look fucking ridiculous. Granted, this is not geared towards me. I'm a grown man. I'm 39 years old. I don't play games. I don't go on Tumblr anymore. I used to have a Tumblr account back when they first... God, I'd say they hadn't even been around a year back when I had an account. Got rid of that shit quick. It might still be floating around. I don't know. Um, but I don't like this. This is terrible. Terrible artwork. Meredith Grain. I think you can do better than this. I want to see you do better than this. I'm going to find you on Twitter. And I'm going to... I'm going to look at your work... And I'm going to challenge you. I'm challenging you right now to do better. Because I think you can. This is probably all digital. Did you color this yourself? Yes. Coloring takes a lot of time. Stop coloring your own work unless it's pinups or something. Focus on the artwork. Get better at the artwork. Let someone else color your shit. I know you get paid more to do that. But for a while, for one year, just draw 
outside of your comfort zone. Take some art classes because you probably learned how to draw from watching YouTube videos. And that's never a good thing because I guarantee you didn't watch professional artists on YouTube. You watched other people who drew like this and you copied their style. And their style was copied from Brian O'Malley. I believe that's his name. Trying to do Scott Pilgrim versus the world uh, type of shit. You're not him. Be you. Everybody who draws like this, stop it. Stop drawing like everybody else and become you. Become you as an artist. Now, The Incredibles. Incredibles 2, Date Night by Kevin Scott, the script. The art by Kawhi Creative Studios. So probably a bunch of people. It's kind of shitty. The actual artist didn't get his name as the artist, it's just a whole team. I think that's bullshit. That's some shit they do in Japan. I don't like that. The artwork is good. The color is good. The pages are dynamic. Didn't start big enough for me. But it's it's Incredibles. I don't like The Incredibles. I don't like The Incredibles 2. I haven't even seen The Incredibles 2. But this is good cartoonish artwork. You guys did a fantastic, you guys and gals did a fantastic job. You should be proud of yourselves. The writing, eh, aimed at children, aimed at children, I know. Not Bean Mouth, not really. This goes with the style of The Incredibles. They are not trying to be Scott Pilgrim. You know, the villain's kind of lame in this. I understand what you were going for. But very, very lame. Even for a kid's kind of thing. If this were an animated series, or if this character were in a movie, people would just bomb right out of the theater or turn the channel. This is not good stuff. The overall, you know, the overall aesthetic of it is very pleasing to the eye. I'd like to see this creative team branch out, do their own comics, see what it would look like. Need a better writer. But I don't know if you need a better writer or if he was just writing for his target audience or their target audience. There's some more Disney stuff here. Frozen. Hate fucking Frozen. Uh, Puppy and Lunger, blah, 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 blah. Space Boy. He's a boy in space. Plants vs. Zombies. Rocket Robinson. Don't know what the fuck that is. Barry Hergay. If you've seen Tin Tin, you will recognize this art style. Mm -hmm. Avatar. Man, I miss Avatar and Legend of Korra. I need to make a new series. Maybe those guys have a new series. Hell, they probably can't get one made anymore. Because it doesn't look like this bullshit. This is what Thundercats is going to look like, supposedly. This is kind of a lesser quality She-Ra. And I hate that fucking show. And I'm going to make a video about how I hate, how much I hate that She-Ra cartoon. Once I learn how to edit videos properly. Give me a week or two. I'll get on this. I'll be able to do it. But the Kawaii Creative Studio... You guys should uh, make your own comics instead of doing licensed properties. You probably get better pay from it. And uh, don't do the creative studio shit. Whoever drew it should get credit as the artist. Whoever inked it should get credit as the inker, unless they, you, you know, you did your own stuff. Of course, there might be 15 people working on this. You never know. That's how animation works. You have one guy drawing all this, this character. One gal drawing all them. I don't know. You know how it works. Maybe that's how it is. I don't know. Stop this shit, though. Please, for the love of God. What are you doing? I'm, I'm serious. I'm challenging you. Meredith Grain. Meredith Grain, I think you can be better. I think if you find your own artistic voice, you will feel better about yourself. You will make more money. 
You will live a happier life. Your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever, will love you more for it. That's kind of all I got to say about it. You guys definitely start doing your own thing. And never use this character again. So boring. So boring. But everything looks everything looks fantastic for a cartoony style. I don't recommend either one of these stories, but I do recommend this Kawaii Creative Studios. But you guys gotta do your own thing. Peace.